All right, so this area I'm in, oh man, there's deer jumping all over the place. It's just really thick, as you can see, it's a thin trail I'm coming down. It's really the only reason I'm hunting here, I scouted it in the winter time after a snow, and there was just such a thick trail going through the snow, like just one muddy trail that they were clearly all traveling through. So, um, and it's like really tight to even hunt it, you know, there's no trees I have to set up on the ground. Uh, I don't even think there's room for a ground blind, um, but it just looks like a promising area. So uh, that's why I'm choosing it, just purely based on the tracks and how thick it is. You know, I just know it holds deer. So it was really just the biggest trail I could find in this thick area. That's the deal. I mean, just check out this trail. Ooh, there it is. Ooh, there it is. I mean, that's just, and that's a pure deer trail too. Yeah, I don't think there's many people walking through this area so thick as it is. Um, so, awesome trail. My little blind area is right, I'm gonna set up right in there somewhere. Uh, the only problem is, it's only gonna be not even 10 yards off the trail. Like I said, there's not even room for a blind. I might just put a little canopy in front of me. Um, so the tricky thing with that, actually, is I just realized there's a trail kind of coming right through where I was gonna set up too, so that kind of stinks. Um, I said they'll come right at me from behind. I didn't really see that before in the winter time. Um, hmm, I might have to rethink this, but uh, you know, I'm not gonna know what's coming until they're right on me. So that's a little tricky, but uh, definitely a spot to get a deer right here. I'm going in ninja style tonight. I got one hour to make something happen. I'm gonna just sit on the ground and uh, spot that looks productive and we'll check it out. Well, I couldn't get it on film, but I just hit a doe. I got this, I'm really tight in this little, I got one little alley here and she came out actually this way in that little passage and it was kind of a tough shot because I had to shoot between my legs like straight ahead because I'm just sitting on the ground right here just sitting against this tree that's it but uh, I hit her solid um, and she looks like a big deer so I'm pretty excited thank you Lord I waited a long time for that deer and worked hard for it so thank you Lord for that there she is right up ahead Let's go check it out. It's a nice sized doe. Nice big doe. That's great. I was looking to get some meat in the freezer. All right, all right. I just got home and uh, hung up the dough. Uh, I'm gonna, I think it's cool enough, I'm gonna let her hang uh, for a day or two. Uh, I'll skin her up. And it's a nice big mature dough. I got to use my new hanging rack, which is working out great. So uh, I'll show you guys how to make that. So here she is. I could barely get her in the car. Alrighty, now the work begins. Alright, so this is just an update. Uh, this is my uh, homemade deer hanger uh, to just skin and, you know, to bone a deer and stuff. And uh, just used it, works great. Real happy with it. So uh, I'll just show you some details on it. Uh, basically, I have 10 foot treated um, 4x4 post, and they attach to the post at the top of the bottom with like a 10 inch lag bolt through the middle. Uh, then I see I use some uh, two by fours, uh, just at a 45 degree angle there for some bracing. I also have uh, two by fours coming down the sides, and then I built it on top of like a skid, so that I could move it all around the yard wherever I want, um, which has been pretty handy. And I uh, just use these um, thin one bys, one by sixes or so, to uh, go across and stabilize the bottom so that the legs don't spread apart, and. Uh, I have a little cleat here, which has been real handy just to attach the rope for the uh, hoist. So there it is. It worked great just now and I'm uh, real happy with it. And uh, it seems like a good height that you could pull it up high enough 
to clear the bottom so if I want to hang the deer for a couple days it'll keep it away from the animals. While I'm here this is a little um, skinning rack I had made, uh, a fleshing rack and it, you can see it got kind of cracked now it's been out in the elements for a couple of years now but it was just a piece of locust log I found uh, and that works really well and while I'm here this is a little homemade deer drag, a piece of garden hose and a few foot piece of rope and a loop, loop it around the head, works excellent. There you have it, go build one.